nothing quite like this. You in pro school? Mm -hmm. First day of school. What you got to say? What you got to say? How was your first day? Good. Hey, Ryan. So you ain't, you ain't even stopped to, to talk to me. Thank you. But I how did you enjoy you your me. first day? Good. This is our Monday dinner. I made smothered pork chops, dirty rice with sausage and corn with peppers. And then I also made sweet peas for the ones that wanted sweet peas. But this is dinner. Hey y'all. Yo, you <laughs> <laughs> Man, please put that goddamn phone down. <laughs> Damn. Tuesday and for lunch I have fish taco with three pickles and some tea in my glass or my cup. Hey y'all. Happy, what's today? Today is Tuesday. It should not be this hard. Um, I'm on my way to the appointment. <laughs> I started to try to say it y'all but I'm feeling like I got it down packed, but I'm not really sure. I think it's chiropractor. Chiropractor. I'm on my way to the chiropractor. So, I said I would just go ahead and check in with y'all and let y'all know what's going on. Nothing much. Of course, I'm late. As always. I'm like, actually, right now, four minutes late probably end up being 10 minutes late by the time I get there but with my job I can't leave until all of my checks have been worked and I'm always getting people ooh, sorry y'all looking at my cheeks it didn't look red when I left the house but looking on camera I'm like what's going on but um what I was saying oh yeah so I'm always getting I could be doing all my checks and then somebody from customer service will message me and be like Shane I need you to work this check for me today and I'm like why would you wait till time for me to get off to be messaging me about working checks like I don't understand it so I have to go ahead and work the checks because we have angry homeowners that call in mad because we need certain documents so yeah that's what my day pretty much looked like um so that's why i'm running a little late because i had like five checks sent to me to work before i left today so one my way then after i leave the chiropractor chiropractic i'm gonna just say after i leave my appointment I'm going to, um, I know y'all, y'all hear the change again. I keep saying I'm going to dump my purse. <laughs> I promise this is going to be the last time y'all hear that change rattling in my car because it's like my purse was so heavy yesterday. I ended up dumping it out in a bag. All of the change I had in the bottom of my purse in a bag in my car. So I got it down on the floor. A Walmart bag with some change in it that I need to dump in my bucket but yesterday I forgot to take it in the house so yeah but when I leave the chiropractor I'm going to um, go to Dollar Tree and after I leave Dollar Tree am I going to Walmart I'm trying to I need to go to Walmart because my friend is having her baby a birthday party Thursday at the splash pad which is like a water park well not water park it's not like rides it's just like water splashers and stuff and that's Thursday so Thursday Kinsley will be one and we'll be going to her birthday party Thursday at six o'clock so I need to go by Walmart and get her a little gift and um what else I have oh 
and I don't even know what I'm cooking tonight. I'm thinking I'll be making some Roger Wood. Y'all tell me, do y'all have Roger Wood in y'all? Well, I'm, I'm not sure Roger Wood is something that other states don't have, but Roger Wood sausage is really popular here in the South. Like, what's y'all favorite sausage to make with sausage tomatoes and rice or pork and beans and rice? and sausage my favorite is usually hillshire but my daddy loved roger wood so i'm kind of accustomed to eating roger wood sausage and tomatoes and rice so i think i'm gonna cook that tonight for dinner <sighs> nothing special just a typical dinner because work was busy today and i didn't have i didn't think to take nothing out of the freezer I waited until like 2 o'clock and I was like, oh, I should have barbecued some chicken today on the grill. But that didn't happen. So maybe tomorrow I'll barbecue some chicken and I'll show y'all how I barbecue my chicken, which normally, uh-oh. It was these kids crossing and they went to cross right when the light turned. I'm like, Whew, that's dangerous and these are like bigger kids so all right y'all i made it to my appointment and i talked to y'all and try to pick up the camp remember to pick up the camera when i leave hey y'all so i'm in the car with my kids and one of my children who got a bunch of school clothes come home with a notice saying that he got to wear uniform shirts and stuff so all them school clothes I purchased and he done been popping tags he got to have uniform shirts and stuff now only only my child now only my child would do that and new dog on well that gave him agenda yesterday that had his dress code in it so I'm on my way now to find him some more uniform shirts because he had some from last year and they fit a little snug. So that's what I have to do. All of those school clothes. And I was going to take them out to eat, but my child right here says what? Why, why shouldn't we go out to eat? Shane, why, should, why you say we shouldn't go out to eat? Why you say we shouldn't go out to eat? He says we need to eat healthier, which I agree. So, we won't go out to eat today. Thank you. I was going to make sausage, rice, and tomatoes, but being Mom, that I got to go do this. Please. So, I'm like, we ain't eating out. I'm going to go home and cook. This one about, can you order some hibachi wings? So, I guess I'm going to do hibachi wings and a salad. Does that work for you, Shane? No, we're not going out to eat. Shane said he don't want to go out to eat. So we ain't going to go out to eat. We'll just get hibachi wings and a salad, and I'll go by the grocery store and make a salad. It'll be fine. Boil some eggs and jazz the salad up and put some ham cheese no we ain't doing mcdonald's we just gonna get the wings and the salad shane you dumb i'm um, cali that's not nice shane i'm a cali that's not nice uh -huh, he's don't play with me are you in your seat belt are you in your seat belt shane i'm on cali you better put that seatbelt on, y'all. I went in Dollar Tree today. Shane, let me hold that um, True Aid out of the um, bucket. Y'all, I went in Dollar Tree and found the lemon things that I put in my water and my tea. <laughs> I was so happy. Look at this. This right here. They had those in Dollar Tree. Twelve of them for a dollar. With a Walmart, I spent two dollars. And they only had one pack left. So I was like, oh no. 
waiting for Calvin to pay I for the you, gas. Come on. How you waiting for me um, to pay for gas? And you say, I you said, I'm waiting for you to do it. Did I say pay? I meant pump the gas. And Shane went in to pay for the gas. He's taking forever and a daggone day. But this is King Street Gas Station. Oh, you just like King Street for some reason. <laughs> Why you say that? Are you King Street everywhere? I bet the love of my life in King time. Street. How we are at the same time? If there was no King Street, there would be no you. I like it when <laughs> you know we need there would have been no them back there neither. Yeah, that's true. But we're waiting on Shane to get back to the car. So we can go order our hibachi wings and go get the stuff to make our salads. I did go in their Maxway and was able to pick CJ up some uniform shirts. He picked out some really cute colors. And yeah, um, Bilo, that's where we're going. We're going to Bilo. And there's a restaurant called Mr. Hibachi's that we're going to order our chicken wings from. What kind of wings should we get, Come on. You don't care? Well, would you like me to fry some wings when I get home? No. no I, would, I would rather not. You said you don't care. Oh, what the know. heck going on in there? I hope Shane wasn't in there. Yeah, That's the police. Oh. Y'all, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the like police retarded. opening the door. He's I like had to make sure. He wasn't holding my child hostage. Mm -hmm. Shay, what took you so long in the store? She was getting them pants. Why you pulling her tickets and all that? Your money back. Oh. Oh, Hello, bro. <laughs> Tell me what you got. That's all I count for. You pump the gas and hush. So I don't know what kind of chicken wings we about to get. Get the honey. Honey? Oh, oh barbecue. I don't like no barbecue wings for no Chinese restaurant. We get honey. I don't know how they honey wings taste. But I'm assuming it would be good. Because most of their chicken wings are good. I've had the... What kind we normally get? Teriyaki? It could be honey that we normally get. I don't know, but we'll get honey today. Get honey chicken wings, and I'm gonna make a salad. If I go and want, if I go and follow, and they got a nice looking salad, I might just get it. But yeah, I'll be back here. Street still, and this is the depot. People are actually train station, the King Street Depot. Um, people are actually boarding the train. See if y'all can see. Some getting on and some getting off. So this is the closest train station that we have in our area. And I'm going right across here to the Chinese restaurant. They have the best wings ever. It's called King Po. But I'll be back back home and this is what we got sweet and spicy chicken wonton shrimp fried rice and that's dinner tonight favorite place taco bell getting my taco bell fries that i don't need and i see hi y'all so it is wednesday and i'm on my way back home um i went to taco bell to get me some uh, icy and I went to get me a fry had to make sure they put my cheese in just now but anyway I came to tell you about my chiropractic appointment yesterday so it was a normal day to start with on yesterday and so I went to the chiropractor my appointment they had me doing the exercise and I did my exercise, got my exercise on. They massaged me, you know, put me on the little massager thing and then put the TENS unit on, just massage my, you know, my back and my neck. 
and all that was good so then it was my turn to go into the chiropractor office like his little section where he actually work on you and they always laying me down on the table and stuff so i'm like okay all right this this is good this is a good day go to lay on there like he start with the middle of my back and he was just like chopping it and the table dropped he went to the bottom he chopped it the bottom part dropped he got to my neck he chopped it but the table didn't drop down like it was supposed to so he chopped it again y'all why does man chop my whole wig off like the whole wig just went flying across the front y'all i ain't never thought i could move that fast because like i told y'all it's a cutout so everybody see your business going on and it, you be like a, a circus act when you the one who in the doctor thing everybody just be looking or at least that's what i feel like so when my wig went flying i jump off that table i ain't even wait for him to lift it back up i told calvin i said I've been trying to be lazy, not fixing my hair and just getting this wig. And then, why the day when I go to put the wig on, the wig try to make me think it was going to be good. Because I'm like, okay, I'm liking the way the wig looking today because all before it, it was looking wiggy to me. So now, I must have like, I did me some um, set it off braids in my hair so I could crochet the hair that I'm about to get in. This is the hair I just bought me. So it's the Kima hair. This is what I'm about to put in my hair today. So I'm like, I was not finna wear this wig back to the chiropractic, chiropractor office today. No, I wasn't finna do it. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going in there today. As shame as I am. I got off that table so quick and got my wig and put it on my head. I mean, the wig, the part probably been over here when I put it on. But I was like, I got to go. I got to go. Usually, after I get off the table, I be done. When my wig came off, I was like, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm just done. Y'all have a good day. I told him, he was, he just said, he just kept saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's okay, doc. That's okay. I got to go fix my little hair. Got to the car. My dog gonna park them over here. Y'all, everything after that went downhill. I was coming home to cook a dinner. I didn't even come home and cook a dinner. We ended up eating Chinese. And I didn't tell y'all this yesterday because I was too embarrassed. But after laughing with my sister last night, I said, let me tell y'all why me and wigs ain't the business like i don't think i put the comb yeah okay this is what happened yesterday i was running late as usual but in the midst of me running late yesterday i had to hurry and I must be didn't latch my wig down in the back because it's a comb that I'm supposed to put through. And I must be didn't have the comb put through the braid right. So, it didn't have nothing to hook to, but I thought for sure that it was hooked. I'd have never lay on that man table and if, that, if I knew that would have happened. I mean, then I called my sister last night to tell her. She gonna tell my brother-in-law the story. And they're just laughing. Like my feelings was really hurt. Yesterday. I ain't never been that embarrassed. Then I get out at Dollar Tree and stump my toe. On the buggy. I'm like, this ain't my day. Then my son came home telling me about his uniforms. They wasn't required to wear uniforms, but then now, all of a sudden, they want them to at least wear uniform shirts and khaki pants, and the khaki pants can only be navy blue or tan, 
and then their pants they could wear jeans but their pants can't be big and we were kind of like going in between with my son size he real short but his waist is a 32 but pants in him and a 32 for him fit a little baggy because we don't want to get nothing too tight so he's actually not completely a 32 but 32 fit him comfortable so he can't even wear the jeans that we bought him from air apostle because because they're big and i'm scared they're gonna say they baggy so y'all yesterday i went and bought him uniforms And then he got the nerve to be mad because I told him his little, he got mad because I told him his um, new clothes that I bought him, he needs to let his brother get the shirts and stuff because he can't wear them. And he ain't finna take them new clothes and he got a bunch of new clothes during the summer. He not finna take those new clothes. Oh, I'm reading this text from my friend. He's not about to take those new clothes and um put them on the play-in. No, we ain't finna do that. So I bought him this real cute Tommy Hilfiger shirt. He was real mad because Calvin wore it to school today. But I'll be back with y'all when I'm on my way to go up to the chiropractor. This may be the last time you see this wig for a long time. I definitely won't be wearing it back to the chiropractor. I don't think. Hey, y'all. So, I'm back in the car on my way to my appointment. Late as usual. I'm I'm real late today. Actually, like, so far, I'm five minutes late. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be about 14 to 15 minutes late. Because it takes me... A good 10 minutes to get there so yeah what the heck is this it like a snake was trying to come in the road I'm like what but y'all I don't understand it I don't understand why I can't be on time like when the kids was there, I could understand it. But now they ain't there. Today, I was fixing my hair. So, I had to put this hair in. Because, y'all, I was, I was... I had already said yesterday, I was not finna get back on that table. And he knocked that wig off again. Like, we just wasn't gonna do it. We just was not gonna have that situation going on again today. This is like really a rush job, so I'm not, I ain't even looking the back, so I'm hoping that the back be all right, and when I lay down, all my business going to be hanging out in the back, but I talked to Calvin earlier, and he talked about going out to dinner to get salads. No, thank you. I mean, I need salads, but uh, I'm not going to Lone Corn and just order a salad. I got to have a salad and a brisket or a salad and a rib and a, or a salad and some chicken, something, something. So, I don't know if we are or aren't going out, but I know I am making sausage, rice, and tomatoes for the kids today. Because that's what I got in the refrigerator and I'm not going I'm not going back to the store today and I didn't take no chicken out the chicken I had in the freezer that I was gonna either stew or barbecue for them so sausage tomatoes and rice it will be um, yeah that's that's it that's just a oh man I love my cup I like to have my cup because after I work out at the appointment I be tired and I need a little gulp of water so I had me a good y'all if y'all have not heard me say it, say it yet 
the pioneer woman cups that um i saw on shanty's shanty's lifestyle um with the straw in it that i got from walmart for 13 dollars yeah it's worth every penny of it i promise you i had ice in my cup last night when i went to sleep this morning at nine o'clock i grabbed my cup to put some more ice and water in it it had ice in it still like literally all i had to do was add a couple of couple of a couple of more i'm still saying couple a couple more pieces of ice and some water and it was good to go good to go i have really got to clean my car out because i got so much mail just thrown on my seat okay and yeah, gabon well, better get that gatorade bottle off my flow Oh, I know. I know what else I didn't share with y'all. So, I got a call today. And if y'all see my mouth is red, it's because I'm addicted to the cinnamon sugar-free candy. So, that's all I've been eating today. But back to the great news. CJ called me and was like, Mama, guess what? I was like, what? He was like, I got into the beta club. Y'all, I was so, so, so excited for him. So excited. Like, and it's so crazy because this summer he was like, I'm going to get into the beta club. Second day of school. And he called me and tell me he in the beta club. Like, I'm so proud. My baby works hard. When I tell y'all hard, he, he had a good bit of awards last year at the end of school. And... He scored high on his little test, the end of the year test. Like, I was so proud of my baby. So proud. My little premature child. The one that I had this um, company that used to come in and work with him, like an intervention specialist when he was a baby because he was, like, behind on crawling, behind on walking, like... His motor skills what and you know what they thought it should be so I had an early intervention specialist that came to our house like I think like three times a week Shanda her name was Shanda um, she's a she's actually a teacher now um, but she worked with him and got him walk crawling then he walked then now nah, my baby doing big things in school like I am so proud of little Calvin that's my baby all of them are my baby but I get so happy when I see them doing good things like y'all I am so excited the fact that Shane and Calvin are finally at the high school together like I remember back in the day when me and my sister was both in the high school together it was like it was awesome my sister and it was the same like them my sister was a junior and I was a freshman and I felt real good knowing that I was sitting in the ta at the table with the juniors like yeah that's my big sister but I was the type of person like you ain't finna bother her yep sure was but I was still like, that's my big sister. I was her bodyguard. When it was supposed to be the other way around. Yeah. But, um. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see them getting along. Like, they be talking about their lunch break. And yesterday they was talking about what happened at lunch. And who was at the table. I was like, I remember those days. And Shane is like a real picky eater. Like he's all on this nutrition thing. And I cook foods. And he be like, Mom, I really don't want that. But he eat it if he hungry. But y'all, well, let me tell y'all why I don't just like go and buy a bunch of salad stuff. Because I've done that before. And when I do buy the salad stuff, that's the time where... He's like, 
I don't want to make a salad. And I'd be like, you asked for all this salad stuff and then you don't want to... Y'all, I saw this lady who probably looked about 80, but she just looked pregnant. Like, her, she was small, but her stomach was, like, round and big. Like, that's why I look like that. Because I was like, that old lady pregnant? Not that that would be a bad thing. If she is, congratulations to her. See, I'm so late. They ain't even got me no parking space. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm back in the car. Went and pick up the children. Churn. Got the churn in the back. Y'all gonna speak churn? Come on, now. See, you, you so Tommy. Sunday, you gonna speak to my vlog. But then the day you ain't gonna speak to my vlog. That's some timing. Shane, you gonna speak to my vlog? Y'all some rude little children. You gonna speak to my vlog today? Anyway, y'all, they ain't gotta speak to y'all. No, I ain't say nothing about people. This is what I'm eating for dinner today. I know it's not the healthiest, but it was something quick. And we're eating dinner. But how are you gonna turn away? She said you're gonna put her in that water. Come on. Here you go. Here. Get her. Come on. She's trying to go in the water. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Is this yours? Come on. Gift bags my friend Natalie gave for her daughter's party. Had these little mini mouse ears. Should have show y'all the food. The cake was so pretty. Y'all look, we in the middle. We about in the middle of nowhere. I got Calvin driving. We gotta go all the way out here. This splash pad is way over here. Oh, then you gotta circle back right there. I'll be back, y'all. Y'all, we are in the car now. We got pizza. I did make hamburger helper, but I'm not too fond of hamburger helper. That's Calvin's, Calvin's favorite food. So I got pizza and an order of chicken wings. Yeah. yeah. So we on the way home. Our shrimper. Do y'all have a shrimper in y'all town? They have the best shrimp and fish. Like people come out of town to go to the shrimper. For real. Um, it's kind of similar to Maryland's fried chicken. But I'll catch y'all when we get back home because my phone is like on 3%. Y'all, I'm 